Hi everyone, I'm Freddie and I'm one of the engineers at Gradio. And today I want to talk to you about how you can bootstrap an AI application with Gradio and Hugging Faces Zero Compute. So to me, bootstrapping means building an app with little to no resources at hand. So in this case, we'll build this fully functioning AI application uh, for zero dollars out of your pocket and less than 10 minutes of your time. So let's get started. Um, so the application that we're going to build is this compliment bot. So it lets users upload a photo of themselves or their friends, and then um, the bot will generate a nice compliment of the subject in the image, um, as you can see here. So in order to build this, you would need an AI model um, or a series of AI models to do two things. The first is to understand who's in the image and what they look like, where they are, all those things, get a like, semantic understanding of the image. And the second thing is turning that understanding into a nice, concise compliment um, to return to the user. So you may be tempted to you know, find a model that does that already and host it on your own server, or maybe even train a model to do that. Um, but that takes a lot of time and money, and you don't actually have to do that. You can take any existing creative application whether it's you know just publicly available anywhere on the internet, but in particular hugging face faces, um, and treat it as a Lego block that you can plug into your application to add AI almost instantly. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll find some hugging face faces to do um, the image understanding and complement generation for us. That way our application stays very simple and compact, and we essentially offload the AI functionality to Gradio via API. And uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna look at Hugging Faces uh, zero GPU spaces. So spaces that run on zero GPU um, have access to a serverless cluster of A100 um, GPUs uh, that's free to use. So it's great for developers to build on and for other developers to use programmatically because they naturally scale up to the increases in traffic and decreases in traffic. Um, you can find the list of all the available um, or all the created zero GPU spaces at this link in the bottom uh, that I'll put in the description. Um, but yeah, um, basically what I did to build this compliment mod is just go through these spaces and see if I could use them uh, for my to suit my, my, my needs. Um, so I did find two spaces. The first one I found was this SD3 long caption space by hugging face user go K go K. So what it does is that it uploads, um, it takes any image and then it creates a very um, detailed, long caption for that image, you know, useful for like image generation models. So it's actually great for us because it, 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 it gives us the image understanding that we need to generate our compliment. And then what I'll do is, um, and, and then I found this Sefer 7B uh, large language model um, that's running on zero GPU that I can use to tell it that I can prompt to turn the long caption into a concise um, Compliment. So um, let's start coding. So in this case, um, to show the flexibility of Gradio, I'm going to create not a Python Gradio app, but a static HTML page um, that calls these other spaces via the Gradio JavaScript client. So my application will look nothing like a Gradio app, but it will still use Gradio under the hood. So I think that's really cool. So this is just the, the basic UI, so just like the title, um, I'm adding an upload button, and then here's where the headshot will be displayed, and here's like a loader component to show progress. Um, you know, pretty pretty standard. Um, and then this is how I'm handling the file upload. Once again, nothing too crazy. I'm just reading um, the file from the file input when the user clicks the upload button, and then I'm passing it to this generate complement function here that I'll show in the next slide. Um, that handles basically the, the meat and potatoes of our, of our application. So in this function, um, I'm using the Gradio JavaScript client to connect the two spaces I mentioned earlier. Um, and then we just call them sequentially. So I'll take the, Im the file, the image that was just uploaded, and then I'll pass it to the create captions rich endpoint of the SD3 long captioner space. Um, so that'll generate a caption. And then I'll um, generate um, a complement by prompting our LLM to generate that complement with the chat endpoint. Um, and then once I get, um, uh, once I get the, the complement out of the, this call, I just display it um, in the UI. And that's it, believe it or not, you know, 
about five minutes to build this application. So, you know, please give this a shot. Um, I'll link all the stuff I talked about in the description. I'll also link a longer blog post um, that goes into a little bit more details um, if you're interested. But yeah, please let us know if you have any questions um, or comments. See ya.